Greetings, everybody, and welcome to Madrid Ball. I hope you all are doing good. Today in this video, we'll do the match preview of Real Madrid versus Valencia. It's a big game for Real Madrid, and revenge will be on the agenda as the Los Blancos take on the Los Murcielagos. Zidane also spoke about his future and his take on the plague of injuries. We'll cover that, and then we'll end the video with the match predictions. So let's get started with this video. Real Madrid will be playing Valencia at the Alfredo Di Stefano. It's going to be an early early kickoff time this time round and Sanchez Martinez will be the man in charge for this match. If we have a look at our opponents, Valencia are currently 12th in the table. They have 24 points from 22 games and if we have a look at the form, they have two wins, two draws and one loss in the last five matches. That's not a great run of form and that has been the story of Valencia this season. Valencia generally finish in the top half of the table. In the past few years at times, they have finished just behind the big three but this season they have not been great at all. They are currently three points off the relegation zone but the good news is that there are still a good number of games to be played this season and if they can string a good run of games they can still end up with the Europa League spot. Javi Garcia's men also have a very poor record away from home this season. They have only won two of the 11 away games but if they are to cling on to any positive going into this match they will surely have a look at the result they got back in November. They beat us 4-1. Carlos Soler scored a hat-trick of penalties and it was a pretty awkward game. We were gifting penalties left, right and centre but again this will also be a a motivating factor for Real Madrid. We would be looking for vengeance. We want to avenge the loss for the way we were dishonoured last time round and most importantly we have two games ahead of Atalanta and we need two perfect performances. If we have a look at the team news as you can see here Vasquez and Carvajal are back in the lineup. The return of Carvajal in defence is something that we should greatly benefit from and our young stars Arribas, Chust and Minguel also have been included for the upcoming match. Moving on let's hear what Zidane had to say in his pre-match press conference. There were some controversial takeaways from his interview as well. Previewing the match, Zidane said, We want to keep doing what we are doing. The vibes are really good and tomorrow is a good game in which we have to prove our worth and continue to grow as a team. The players are really committed to the cause. We had a good week and we have to keep working hard because we face a really demanding game. There are 48 points left to play for and we are going to fight and play good football to try and win the games. We can only control what we do on the pitch and we are going to give our all until the end of the season. Zidane also expressed his concerns at the number of injuries suffered by Real Madrid this season. Speaking on the issue, he said, it's not bad luck. We are worried about this and I've spoken about it a lot. We don't like not having our players available. We are getting Danny Carvajal and Lucas Vasquez back and we want to get the others back soon. So as you see here, Zidane is refusing to accept that the injuries are purely down to bad luck. That can be seen as a clear warning to the medical staff to pick up their socks and do the job that they have been assigned to do. Zidane then went on to shed his thoughts on the youth academy. As he said, the academy Academy setup is really good at Real Madrid. It's true that before playing for the first team, many players have to go out and get games. That's the route that many of them have taken. It's a big challenge for them to say that one day they could play for the first team. It's good for them and they've got the quality to do it. The topic of Gareth Bale was also brought up in the interview. We know that there's a buzz in Madrid about the potential return of this player and Zidane was asked about the situation to which he replied, as a coach I wish him all the best because he's a Real Madrid player. I don't know what's going on there and I can't comment on it. The only thing I hope hope is that it goes well and the same applies to all Real Madrid players. Zidane's future was also discussed in the interview as very recently French National Soccer Federation president said in an interview that Zidane would be his number one candidate to succeed Didier Deschamps. On that topic Zidane said he has a close relationship with the president but he's not thinking about the national team yet. He further said right now my mind is focused on here, I'm the Real Madrid coach and I enjoy every day of it. But you never know what will happen in the future. I've always said that the national team was an objective but right now I'm here. Next Zidane was also asked for some updates on Eden Hazard as we discussed yesterday. Hazard has returned to the field, he has started some light jogging and workout. Zidane said Hazard is in much better spirits and is happy to be back out there. When you're back on the training pitch it means you're close to being back amongst the team. I think he's in good spirits and he wants to be back with the team as soon as possible. I hope that he's able to do something with the team next week. And that is all from the press conference and now let's move on to do the match predictions. In goal obviously there will be Kotwa. With the players returning, I do expect Zidane to revert back to the 4-3-3. We did have quite a bit of fun with the 3-4-3 but unfortunately both the wing backs in the game got injured and in this match I expect Zidane to bring back the normalcy. Nacho and Varane should be the centre back pairing along with Mendy and Carvajal as the full backs. The defence is looking pretty solid with these players. In the midfield, Cruz is back so he should start on the left along with the regulars Casemiro and Modric. Arribas had a good game last time round so it would be interesting to see if he gets a few minutes. Up 
front, Vasquez is back as well, and we have seen Zidane has opted for the duo of Vasquez and Carvajal on the right. But I don't think Vasquez will return to the starting lineup yet. He has just returned from injury, so I expect the trio of Asensio, Vinicius, and Benzema to continue. As for the match predictions, I predict Real Madrid 3, Valencia 1. We have to keep winning. Our rivals Barcelona and Atletico both were victorious in their respective La Liga matches yesterday. Atletico beat Granada 2 1. Barcelona Hamid Alaves 5 1. They have done their jobs, and now it's our time to take care of our business. And that is all I have in this match preview. Do let me know how you are feeling ahead of this match. Are you feeling confident after seeing the previous performance of Real Madrid? Write your thoughts and your predictions in the comments below. I will see you soon. Till then, take care. Glory to Madrid. And as always, a la Madrid.